Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and today I am going to talk about allergies. As you know, all my videos are directly referenced from the internationally accepted US National Medical Library, so you can trust the information given on my videos. So what do you know about allergies? Allergy is a immune response. It's basically a reaction to some substance that is usually not harmful to your body. And allergies are very common. Every single one of us will have an allergic reaction to something or the other, sometime or the other in our life. And both genetics, your genes and environmental factors play a big role. So what is allergy, right? What exactly are the causes of allergy? What are the types of allergy? How can you actually get an allergen? What are the ways, right? How do you diagnose it? What are the symptoms, right? Exams, what is the treatment? What is the prognosis? And this winter season is very common for allergies. So let's dig into this subject and let's talk about allergies. <music> The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. See, as I said, allergy is an immune response and it's because of a substance which is usually not harmful and it can be genetic as well as environmental. So if both of your parents are having allergies, then there is a good chance that you might also have an allergy to something else. And the immune system normally protects our body against harmful substances such as bacteria, virus, and it also reacts to uh, foreign substances like allergens. And this, <clears throat> these are usually uh, the allergies which you happen and usually it's harmless. And in most people, it does not cause a major problem, but right in a person with allergies, the immune system is oversensitive. So when it recognizes an allergen, the immune response launches a chemical reaction with the help of certain uh, hormones and enzymes, especially histamines, which are secreted in the local area. And these chemicals cause the allergic reaction. Right. So what are the causes of allergic reactions? First are drugs. Yes, drugs, medicines, pills. These can cause allergic reactions in certain individuals. Then dust. Dust will cause allergic reaction. Food products, insect venoms, molds, pets and other animal dangers, pollen grains. Right. These kind of things are allergic uh, allergens. Some people have allergies like reaction to hot and cold temperatures. Some people have sunlight allergies. Even uh, there can be other environmental allergies, uh, triggers also, right? Sometimes friction, right? Rubbing or roughly stroking the skin can lead to the symptom. So allergies can be very, very uh, common. They can have variety of uh, triggers and allergies may uh, also happen because of certain medical conditions like uh, sinus problem, eczema, right, asthma. And if you have allergies, then these conditions will become worse. Asthma will become worse. Sinus problem will become worse. Eczema, itching, urticaria will become worse, right? So what is the symptom? What happens when you have allergy? Mostly uh, the part of the body, the allergen touches, affects, uh, the symptom actually happens there. And the symptom will be something like an allergen that you breathe in, right, will cause uh, stuffy nose, it will cause itchy nose, it will cause throat, uh, there can be itchiness in the throat, there can be mucus, cough, and even sneezing, right. Then if there is an allergen that touches your eye, it can cause itchy, watery, red swollen eyes, right. Eating something that you are allergic to will cause nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, or even a severe life-threatening reaction can also happen. Yeah. So eating something which you are allergic to is not good. <clears throat> then allergens that touch the skin can also cause a skin rash. 
right? Something like hives, then can cause blisters, itching, right? Skin peeling can happen. Then dust allergies, which are rare, they, these people usually ha involve the whole body, right? Because of the dust and this can lead to a variety of symptoms, including bronchospasms, right? Skin reactions, dryness, itching, etc., etc., etc. So dust relaxation can occur. So how do we diagnose them? See, there are uh, the health provider, your doctor will basically ask you a lot of questions, right? And ask your medical history when you go to them for uh, allergic uh, testing. Skin testing can also be done, but allergic testing uh, is basically the, done to find out whether the symptom are actually allergic or caused by certain other problem. For example, eating a contaminated uh, food product can also cause similar symptoms to food allergies, but that might be gastroenteritis. Taking some medicine like aspirin, ampicillin uh, can actually lead to non-allergic reactions including rashes, right? That, these are side effects, right? A running nose or cuff may actually be due to an infection, not just an allergy. So therefore, sometimes a skin test is done, which is most common method of testing allergy, right? The prick test is something which uh, prick test where it involves placing a small amount of the suspected allergy causing substance on the skin, right? And then slightly pricking the area so that the substance moves under the skin and the skin is closely watched for signs of reaction, right? The reaction signs would be swelling and redness, first sign, right? Then there are certain other tests like intradermal test in which it, the allergen is injected, a tiny amount of allergen is injected under your skin and then watched for redness swelling reaction, right? Both these prick and intradermal tests are used for 15 minutes, basically with red after 15 minutes of application of the test, right? And the patch test involve placing a patch with the suspected allergen on the skin. So prick test, intradermal test, there is a patch test. Patch test uh, will have a patch of these uh, allergic substance. The skin is also again that closely monitored and this is used to determine contact allergies. It, now patch test is something which is a long term test means meaning that means it is used to read after 48 to 72 hours of the application, right? The uh, doctor may also test your reaction to physical triggers like applying heat or cold or other stimulation to your body and then watch for allergic reactions, right? Blood tests can be done including uh, IgE. IgE is immunoglobulin E, which measures the level of allergy related substances in your body, okay? So a high IgE means you have some allergy because of something, okay? High IgE. Then complete blood count can be done during which eosinophil white blood cell count is done, which is mainly uh, suspected. If it is increased, then it's suspected that you might have some allergy. Then in some cases, doctors may tell you to avoid certain items uh, to see if, if you can get better, right? Or to use that suspected items to see if you actually feel worse because of that suspected item. This is called use and el el elimination testing, right? To use something which we feel it is allergic or to eliminate something. Right. This is often used uh, to check for food and medicinal allergies. And then lastly, treatment. 